Hi there, I'm Daniel Greenwood and I work for Brahini Civil Engineering as a senior land surveyor. Today we're at a site called Brightwell Lakes near Ipswich. Brahini is our civil engineering company. We've been going for around 60 years. We employ in excess of 300 people. On our fleet, we have well over 20 excavators, dumpers, various plants. Currently, we're working on various infrastructure projects such as housing estates. We do work for the Environment Agency. This particular project today is a housing site consisting of um, roads and sewers. It also has uh, various swales and one large pond that's currently being excavated. We have over 20 Earthworks cab kits that are quite flexible in the fact that we can move these cab kits around to different machines so that the operators can use GPS effectively in their cab. The sites that we are on, mainly they are all Trimble Earthworks cab kits. So it's Trimble GPS systems. When we win a job, we receive all the design information. We then take that CAD work and we put it into TVC. We then make the designs usable so that we can then put the designs into the machines, whether we put the formations in or the finished designs, whatever preference the operators have or what the site team want to have in the excavators. We use a DJI 300 Matrice drone with RTK. And how we use that is we carry out surveys with the drone so that we can take the information into Trimble Business Centre and calculate volumes, valuations. And we also use the drone data to um, create as-built drawings as well for um, Earthworks. We use Works Manager. Works Manager is really useful in the fact that we can remotely connect to the machines so we can send designs. We can even use the excavators to take survey points so that then the engineers who may not be on site can remotely gain that information from their laptops, then take that data back into TBC to produce as-built drawings and so forth. Brahini's, we started our journey with Trimble DPS systems around about seven years ago now. And when we first implemented, we had two or three cab kits. So the drivers, they really wanted to try the technology. And now we've got to the stage where a lot of our sites do have GPS machine control. And the drivers are starting to use it regularly. And the more they use it, the better they get. And they're actually finding them that it is a great tool to have in your cab. It's like having a little engineer on your shoulder. Brahini, we also use Site Vision, which is quite useful for the foreman to use on site. The fact that we now use GPS, we don't actually have many stakes or profiles on site. So Site Vision gives the foreman the model that visualised over the current landscape so that they can see the model on their screen and they can see the cut fill, where the road's cutting through. We use it quite early on in the project to identify where places are quite quickly. The future for Brahini would be looking forward to new advances in technology, maybe having more roto tilts, tilt buckets, all integrated with the GPS systems, and also maybe some more advancement on the inside cab, putting sight vision into the cab of the machine so that you can have live feeds to the office. Uh, Brahini have quite a good relationship with SciTech. They help us with our works manager and our data flows. We've had a really long standing relationship with SciTech and we're looking forward to working with them in the future. Mm -hmm.